Hello, my name is Shadley, and welcome back to another episode of Hazard 3 Multiplayer, and uh, how goes the war in Italy? Well, right now we're just chasing a bunch of, I'm assuming, uh, 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 barefooted Italians without guns down the peninsula to see if we can't storm across the actual foot crossing to Messina without their navy getting in my way. I've got my Fair fastest enough. troops down here. It's cavalry and light tanks, so if anybody's going to do it, it's these bastards. <laughs> The guys that are over here are completely combat and effective. Whenever we actually have "quote unquote" battles with them, they just they they all go in reserve, and then that and that's it. Yeah, technically, if you can overrun the divisions, they will uh, disappear completely. Yep, and somebody just strategically bombed me. Oh my! I ju I just saw a strategic bombing. All right, so air intercept. Make sure we get for these guys. Uh, max range, except Ooh, artillery upgrades. Never underestimate the power of artillery. It can be quite useful indeed. So I, that's why I always make sure the art, the the up to date artillery stuff is right at the top of the list. All right, so I got. 20 divisions here already, and I do have once, uh, in about a week from now, I get another division, and then I can send in another five. Nice. There Alrighty. should be plenty to fight the Spanish for a while, at least. Alright, we're almost to the tip of the boot. We're almost to the toe. Battalion, commanding, control, command, uh, where is that town? Go. Good. All right. I think I'm going to have to build some airfields in Portugal as well. So I don't think it's going to let me just walk across. Uh, technically you can walk, but if they get navy in the straits, then they it will immediately stop it. That's that's what it looks like is happening here. Damn it! Damn you, Italy! <laughs> oh, that's 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 a little frustrating. <laughs> Surrender! Damn it! It's over! I have the high ground! Well, they're still losing their Unity thanks to our spies, so... If nothing else, then at least that will take care of them. The question well, is, yeah. uh, will they join to Axis uh, before that <laughs> happens? Oh, <laughs> that'd be something. Uh, let's see, where, where are those couple ships I built? Alright, let's see. Uh, rebase over here, guys. Try not to get sunk. Oh yeah, a lot of the strength upgrades that I um that I popped on are, are uh, just just finished up. So lots of increase in the size of my military. Just oh, just yeah. the boots on the ground. Uh, what's good about what's good about doing that for at least the um, the support units is that they have a tendency to die really fast. Yeah, especially if they're being bombarded. Yeah, they can. So, so you could have engineers in there, but if there's there's only you know base three hundred of them or something like that, they could all die and you'd lose the bonus. Of right, course, where's it that is a, feared navy. There it is. Yeah, of course, it is a balance between uh, they will then use more officers and supplies and fuel and all that, mm -hmm. and manpower. But well, I don't for, think... for for me the the big hit is losing the combined arms from having all those guys fighting together. True. And whatever bonuses they'd have for terrains and stuff like that. Motorized engineers, yes indeed. Tank destroyers. I like how the cavalry have trucks, tr uh, truck transport. <laughs> Oh, there's shit weather over here, too. Oh. 
No, and Germany, I... I don't want to be a part of your your party. I'm currently buying some electricity or coal out of Germany, but that's about it. I love it, the, the concept of buying power from another country. Uh, yes, I would like a bulk of batteries, please. <laughs> or maybe you could just lay a very long extension cable across the border. Although, honest, now that I think about it, I don't know how it works in Europe. In the United States, we have, like, three power grids in the in the country, and it's... Oh, the Soviet Union's mobilizing. Yep. Well, I mean, that... uh, pretty much every country have their own grid, but they are connected to other countries, so there is uh, buying and selling electricity quite a bit. I was about to say, it's got to work... It's got to be more complex in, in Europe, where, you know, the countries are smaller and... If every single country just had their own individual power grid and nothing was connected, I imagine it would be a clusterfuck. That I would. So I'm pretty sure we've got four, I think. We have four major power grids. And one of them's just because Texas is kind of weird and wanted their own. <laughs> It's like it's. I think it's like the northeast, like up towards Maine, and then the and then it's kind of split the rest of the country, and then Texas, because Texas always has to be different. I just realized that I think I'm missing one HQ over there, at least one. Oh, Texas well, still just... thinks they're an independent country sometimes. <laughs> yeah, you stop being independent when you cried like a bitch for our help. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, they uh, they fucked up my auxiliary vessel. Uh, a fair few of my auxiliary vessels getting over here. All right, so what we can do is uh, take some cavalry, load them onto a transport. Let's see. Let's move. Just we'll just move them to the Straits of Messina. We'll see what happens. It's probably going to be a disaster. Well, I've got a lot of transports in there, so the, 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 they can swim from one to the next. Wait, is this working? I mean, you are doing a landing there. Yeah, I, that's why I was like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> They're almost there, too. I, I like the idea, the idea of, of, of cavalry naval landing. Yeah, just don't worry about Char it. I mean, horse, horses can swim. Yeah, sure. Or, or like, like the ones that that make it there successfully, the horses just charging. Oh, yeah, there we go. Charging out of the... Uh, uh, out of the landing craft. <laughs> I mean, now you can just transport the troops in there. As long as these all don't... There's, there's actually a battle happening there. Oh, what? What just happened? Uh, I think that was a scripted event. Hang on. Pause the game. Okay, so USA? US, yeah, USA owns southern Italy. Hang on, hang Germany on. owns Pause the northern the game. one. Pause the game. I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. Germany got the top half, and the U.S. got the bottom half, and the Italian Social Republic got something else. Yeah, they got some lands in Venice, by the looks of it. Well, that sucks. I was like three or four minutes away from finishing that. Yeah. I got to keep two provinces. <laughs> I mean, you can still get the... Oh, oh, and the United Kingdom got Libya. They yeah. just got partitioned. Hold on, so are... we're not fighting... No, we are still fighting Italy. I don't know where they exist. Ah, Ethiopia. Wait, no, oh. their surrender progress is 100%, so they'll surrender in two hours. Ah. Hang on, I'm gonna try... Okay. 
Let's just to see what happens here. So let's uh, let's unpause and then pause it as after they surrender. See what happens. They didn't surrender. Their surrender progress is now zero. Yeah, because they got the points in Ethiopia now as their primary. Oh, fuck you, game. I just lost 100 IC. Yeah, that's uh, annoying. How? What What event was that? Uh, I think Italy declared war against uh, France because France's uh, surrender progress was low enough. And, and that, that made... It partitioned to the United States? Apparently. But I mean, it's I... basically that partition was a different thing because their surrender progress was already so high they had lost Rome and all that. So basically, Italy then had uh, basically a revolution or something like that. And then Germany now is uh, technically manning the northern Italy to fight still against the Allies. Mother... Basically something that's supposed to happen... Uh, in like 1944! Yeah. God, I was... Oh, I had actually made a landing, and all I needed to do was walk from the landing site to Palermo, because these guys didn't have any... Any, like, uh, organization whatsoever. I fucking had it. God damn it. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, alright, well, let's, let's just... All right, this is fine. This is fine. Everything is fine. At least you still have a uh, port in Italy, but that's about it. Yeah, I lost. I literally, I had. I think I lost exactly 100 IC because I'm pretty sure I was at four, uh, 451. And now I'm at 351. Well, that's annoying. We'll need to destroy Germany. Yep. Okay. Well, what are you gonna do? Let's continue. Well, technically, you can declare war against the Italian Social Republic. Oh, trust me, I've already thought of that. <laughs> there, there's some IC in there. They got Venice. Indeed. Oh, that fucking sucked. I just told all of these units to move out of here, but they're not moving. No, they might still be. Hmm. No, all, all the like all the guys in the south don't want to move. That's weird. All right. Well, not headed. Hmm. This is. They can't get through Germany. Ah. Oh. None of the. Oh my god, this is so fucking annoying! Wait, some of them can get through Germany, but some of them can't. Yeah, I don't what? know what's going on with that. What but the I mean... fuck is going on? <laughs> what the goddamn hell is going on? Oh, my poor industrial base. All my bombers. That sucked. It's like a week away from their surrender. Yeah. Oh, uh, apparently I met the Italian fleet over here in Gibraltar. Oh, is that where they were? Well, among other places, they had a uh, carrier here. Italian's got a carrier? Apparently. On the other hand, Italy, are they fighting... Italy is fighting Germany, and Japan, and us, and the Italian Social Republic is an Allies member. Oh, god damn it. The it, it wait, Italy joined the Allies? Is that what happened? Apparently. But the rest of the Allies are not in the war against us, but... Holy this crap. Is, oh god, we broke the game. As is kind tradition... Of Yeah, 
Yeah, so um, that cavalry division that, that, that made that epic naval landing permanently stuck. Oh, no, I can get them out. Yeah, they just have to swim. <laughs> well then. Yeah, this is this is a big clusterfuck because all these troops are are going to be difficult to even get out. Because I'm pretty sure the only way some of the, I can get some of these guys out is if I station uh, ships off the shore and tell them to walk onto them, which means you know just swim out to the landings. I got one port. You might realize. be able to ask uh, transit rides from USA at least. Try that. Unlikely, but we'll, we'll dispatch the diplomats all the same. Oh, they actually said yes. Oh, nice. What about Germany? If Germany says yes. Wait, why do I already have a diplomat en route to Germany? Ah, uh, probably they... automated trade or something. Say, so what did the AI just fucking do? God damn it. That was close. But and the Italian Navy keeps fucking up my, my pathetic little fleet. Okay, let's get uh, Air General here. I got some aircraft from the Germans. Oh, what'd you get? Uh, I just oh, some old French... Uh, Fight a bomber, but it's better than nothing. Mm -hmm. Fucking take them. <sighs> fucking Venice back. After all that, I gotta fucking take it back from Nazi Italians. Yeah, though. <laughs> They are fighting against the Allies in their entirety. <laughs> so that means, oh god, USA is at a war already. Wait, who, 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 Japan? Yeah, they're fighting the Italian Social Republic. Oh no! I don't even have troops over there yet! I got one division sitting there! Well, I don't think USA has any troops in Europe yet, so... They I mean, they're ships. not part of the Allies. I mean, yeah, they do have ships, but, well, yeah, it's still going to take a long while to bring in troops from... Unless they got event spawn troops, which they might have. Yeah, and my, my units can't fucking move because they don't have any... There's The speed's like a fraction of what they normally are because they don't have any fuel. No, but you can do the strategic redeployment. Can't do that. Okay. Oh, apparently, that doesn't use fuel. Yeah, it doesn't really care about that. Trains don't. Everybody, you heard it here first. Trains don't use fuel. I mean, they use coal, but that's not fuel. <laughs> they just suck it out of the atmosphere, is what they do. Hydrogen-powered trains. That's not dangerous. I think in the Cold War that the Soviet Union had like a jet-powered train. Sounds a bit risky. I think the United States developed nuclear powered trains. Alright, how much do I produce uh, rare materials in my capital now? 11.4. It's getting better. Oh, my planes. I gotta. Oh, my poor planes. Their organization went to zero. Oh. Which means they're going to sit around for a while doing nothing.
It's a little scary when the fucking American fleet starts showing up. Yeah, hopefully we don't need to tangle with them anytime soon. Why can't I get goddamn supplies in contiguous borders with myself? What the hell's going on? Uh, oh, whereabouts? Down. Just the, the one division sitting next to the Italian Socialist Republic is saying he can't get any fucking fuel over here. Yeah, they don't have any fuel there, but it just might be that... Might be just lagging behind. Yeah, basically, it takes a long while for the supply lines all the way from your capital to reach the extra need, extra need there, so but in like a few weeks it should be fixed. I've got so many troops stuck in, it, stuck in Italy now, and I can't physically get them out. If I put them on ships, there's a good chance that they're just going to die. Yeah, the Italian fleet is still fairly strong. Exactly, they'll just fucking sink those transports. I'm really bent out of shape about that. Because most of the... They already sank most of the transports. Those are like my... Oh, God. my All, all the cavalry, all of the tanks, um, one of the elite light infantry, the elite mountain divisions. So, like, all my best troops are there. Stuck permanently. Hmm. I mean, if you can get the naval bombers, you might be able to clear out the seas a little bit. Well, that's the thing, though, is that, uh, yeah, I could bomb their navy, but there's a thousand ports in the Mediterranean for them to hide in. <laughs> and if I if I put, oh, God, getting my best troops sank on transports would be a fucking disaster. Ah, oh, this event really fucked me. Okay, the Spanish are bringing in troops on my border here, but um, once I get the extra fire divisions, I should be able to push out at least a little bit. <sighs> well, let's at least go back to Iran and see what's going on. Let's see, they're at... Oh, they're at 85% progress. That's pretty good. Yeah, once you take the port that you already head into, yeah. Or either one of the two ports, actually, where you're heading to, they should surrender. Yep, yep, yep. Let's see one of those guys going to arrive. 28. It's going to take him a week to walk there. Oh, hey. The plane's finished. Nice. I haven't, I haven't put a, uh, a squadron off the production queue in ages, but there we are. Pro probably out of date. Probably. I don't remember how long ago I put it on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, Germany. You suck. Oh, let's, let's not, see, that's the thing. Is it's, America's not being is not that much of a problem. Germany's the problem because they won't let me walk through their land. Oh, what just happened there? The United Kingdom just made a naval landing in Germany to Italy. Oh. Gen Genoa just fell. Yeah, and France has also went into Italy. Yeah, I see that. Oh, all my bombers were in Venice. Ugh. Alright, fly them out. Okay, the Italians are certainly sinking my navy of the convoys right now. Well, I'm gonna get Venice back at least. Um, my game just crashed. Oh no. 
Well, we are just about the end of the episode. That is very true. So, if you enjoyed this, please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Also, check out the other players' perspective. Link is down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, bye bye. Goodbye.